Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. Welcome to our first Java tutorial part 1 for beginners. Be sure that you have already installed NetBeans. First is you are going to create a new project. Click File New Project. Then choose this one. Then click here. Then click Next. So you can change the project name to whatever you like. For me, I'm going to change this one to something like part 1. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like. Now, if you have previous projects that you don't want to be there, you can just simply right-click on that one and click on Delete. Click on this one, click Yes. So all the files on that project will be gone. So this is our new project, Part 1. Then up next is we are going to create a Java file or a class file. So click on New File. Still on Java folder, click on this one click next then I'm going to name this one as something like what could be the best name whatever you like you can name it so for me I'm just going to name it as basics click here there you go so this is how it's going to look like we have comments we have the public class and the name of your class so same thing that's your file name so inside your curly braces this is where you are going to type your statements. So I'm just going to type here the public static void main which is some sort of a doorway to our first argument or for to, to our first statement. So I'm just going to type system that out that print line this will serve as our um, command and inside the parentheses we are going to type of course the statement. So this is what will be displayed. So don't forget to provide the semicolon to close it then first I'm going to click on build since this is the first time that I'm trying to run this one then after you have built your class then that's the time that can you can click on this icon right here choose the right class so this is the main class then click on select wait for a couple of seconds and you will be able to see the result. If there are no errors, then you will see build success and you will be finding this statement right here. Okay, so this is the statement that we have placed here. So up next is we are going to use um, comments. So double slash or double forward slash will denote that you are creating a comment. So I'm just going to type here declaring variables. So to declare a vari variable, so you're going to type the data type, then the variable name so I'm just going to make this one a little bit faster so we have int for whole numbers string for uh, letters or words and double for decimals so up next is we are going to display whatever is in there on the variables so I'm just going to type the string that I have typed a while ago then we are going to use concatenation for this one Wait, I think I need to type a comment here. So concatenate, it's like you're trying to join two different variables. So this is the name, the data type name, uh, the variable name. And let's make this one fast. Same thing, you're just going to join different variables in here. Use plus to join or concatenate two different variables. Don't forget to use semicolon if you want to close the statement so i'm just trying to type whatever is in here so it's like a statement so once you're done type semicolon then double check i know that there's an error in here but we are just going to click on build so that we will know and determine what error it is there you go so we have an error here this is the error so we are going to check what the error is and of course the error is like we have not initialized the values of our variable so it's like it is this be displayed here that we have a variable but we have not provided any values for those variables so i'm just going to type um for this one the age i think there's something wrong with age since it is not a string it's an integer so i'm just going to change this one to number there name since it's a string so i'm just going to enclose it in two double quotes 
then wait since it's a double or a number then that's it so let's try to run it and there you go now if the tutorial is quite fast you can always pause it and replay it and there you go so that is how you are going to deal with concatenation okay so displaying different variables and joining them as one so if ever i want to put this one into a new line i'm just going to type backslash n then run then that's it you have noticed that after the first line it proceeds to the next line so once we're done with this one i'm just going to delete everything here and i'm going to show you how to work with arithmetic operators or to add and subtract values here so first we are going to declare or initialize the variables i'm going to use int for x and y or integer and double for z which is the result so first i'm going to provide a formula z is equal to x plus y so whatever the value of x plus y uh, it will be displayed on z so system that out that print line the value of z is so i'm going to concatenate it then type z then close so there's something wrong with the code because i have not provided the value of x and y so i'm just going to type x is equal to something like this value right here and y then build successful if you're going to run it there you go so the value of z is this one okay so that's how you're going to deal with the basics in java bye for now subscribe for more